You know, I really like Maxim guns. Something doesn't seem quite right about this one. Yeah, that would explain it. It's a tiny Maxim gun. Thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here at the Kessler Auction House in Kreuzlingen, Switzerland, where they actually have this thing. This is a true example of manufacturing art, uh, almost certainly done by someone whose former profession was a watchmaker. Let's just take a closer look at this, because this thing is actually completely functional. So for size reference, here's a scale. This whole thing is about 30 millimeters long, that's about 12 inches, including the mount. Or, to look at it in a different light, here's an actual Maxim lock. A Swiss Maxim lock, of course, because we're in Switzerland. But compare the scale of that to this. And of course this is fully disassemblable, so I can push that in, I can cycle the bolt back, let's turn this around. I can cycle the bolt open like so. I can even hang the lock like I would in a real full-size Maxim. It's hard to describe just how tiny this is. I mean, here is a real lock. It's just kind of mind-bending. You can take out the feed block. There we go. And on the feed block, all of the controls actually work. We have the little arm that's going to connect to the reciprocating barrel. You can use this lever to disconnect the belt, to remove a uh, loaded belt. All of that actually works. In fact, if I put this back together here, there we go. You can see it cycling in there. I can take the booster assembly off, and I can simulate the recoil mechanism, which you can see actually operates. Okay, it needs a little bit of oil, but that actually operates the belt mechanism, the feed block. Back here on the, uh, the charging lever, you can see that that is pushed back to operate as it should. The water jacket fill plug actually comes out, and you can fill this with water. And probably the most amazing thing about this entire gun, it actually has a 2 millimeter rifled barrel. And I think it would be fully functional if you uh, were actually able to get some ammunition for it, which this day and age you really can't. But just the mechanical marvel that is this piece. Um, you can actually adjust the spring tension in the fusee spring here. This, uh, I'm not going to take it off because I don't want to try and get it back together, but this comes off just like it's supposed to. The sight folds down just like on a real Maxim. Even the tripod, or the, the sled mount, actually works. If we look at this up close, whoever made this actually had to go to the trouble of making his own stamping dies to create this in a historically and visually authentic manner. I can push in these two uh, springs here on the legs. We can adjust the position of the sled mount just as you normally would on a real gun. Here's the little box for the spare bolt, for the spare lock. trigger mechanism. This really just is a truly incredibly impressive piece of workmanship. Um, oh, did I mention that the, the little oiler is actually threaded into the grip like it's supposed to be? 
right there. We don't know exactly who made this, or exactly when. Um, Werner Kessler, who runs the Kessler Auction House, suspects that it was made during World War I uh, by a watchmaker who was in the army and sitting in the rear line somewhere with nothing to do. Um, whether that's the case or not, I really couldn't tell you. Um, all I know is you, you don't see this sort of workmanship much anymore. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This thing is just outright amazing to me, and I definitely wanted to take the opportunity to share it with you guys. Uh, if you really want it, it is actually for sale at the Kessler Auction House. In addition to being an auction, being an auction house, they're actually also a standard gun shop, and this is one of the items that they have in their inventory available for sale. So if you really want it, take a look at the description text below. I'll have a link to their uh, website where you can talk to them about it. And uh, the world's tiniest maxim. Thanks for watching.